Hey there, viewers. We all wish we could stay young forever, but that's not how life works. As you age, you experience a decline in your brain function as well. You start forgetting small details like where you kept your car keys, but what if I told you there was something you can do to keep your brain young and healthy? In today's video, we'll be discussing 12 ways to keep your brain young. Why is mental stimulation necessary? Can improving blood pressure impact your brain power? Is physical exercise as important as mental stimulation? We'll be discussing all of these and more. Number 1. Mental Stimulation As you age, it's only natural for your brain to go into decline. One of the best ways to prevent this is to keep it mentally stimulated. When you give your brain some activity, it creates new connections between nerve cells. In fact, with brain activities, you might even help your brain create new nerve cells. This can be used for when your brain loses cells in the future. You don't have to worry too much about what activities you'll need to do. Simply reading regularly can help you do that. Mental gymnastics can also help. Instead of getting anxious, just do some puzzles and math problems. You can even try things that require dexterity, such as painting. Wondering what dexterity is? It refers to the ability of a person to gracefully coordinate their movements. Dexterity is the coordination of small muscles. It has to do with movements, usually involving the synchronization of hands and fingers with the eyes. For example, when you're knitting, you're using your hand movements to craft something. There are hand and finger exercises that can help you increase flexibility, dexterity, and strength. For instance, you can grab a squeeze ball and squeeze it as hard as you can, without causing pain to your hands. Do this simple exercise several times daily to improve your dexterity. Do you like doing mental exercises? Which is your favorite brain workout? Crossword puzzles? Scrabble? Share your preferences with the Bestie community in the comments below. Number 2. Physical Exercise It's time to get some more exercise, people. And I'm not just talking about your arms and your legs. Your brain also requires a bit of a workout. Various studies have shown that putting your muscles to work also can help your brain. When you exercise, you raise the blood flow in your blood vessels. This in turn helps transport oxygen-rich blood to the parts of your brain responsible for thought. When you exercise, you can also increase the chances of developing new nerve cells. You'll be able to improve the connection between the various brain cells as well. By doing so, you make your brain cell more efficient. This is a way of keeping it younger. You'll notice your brain performing better even as you age. Looking for answers on all the latest health and wellness news? Hit that subscribe button and join our millions of followers. Stay up to date on all of our great bestie content. Number 3. Better Diet Admit it, you haven't been eating properly. While everyone knows a good diet is important for your body, it's also equally important for your brain. We often underestimate just how crucial healthy eating is for our mental state. If all we're doing is lining up at the McDonald's drive-thru every day, you're going to have health problems. When you fill your body with fruits, vegetables, fish, and nuts, you reduce the risk of suffering from cognitive impairment and even dementia. Unsaturated oils such as olive oil and plant proteins should also be included in the diet. Number 4. Improved Blood Pressure If you suffer from high blood pressure, chances are you'll have a higher risk of cognitive decline as you grow older. You'll need to make changes to your lifestyle so that it can bring your blood pressure to normal levels. As discussed previously, physical exercise can help your brain directly. At the same time, it can also reduce your blood pressure. Additionally, it can help you stay lean and reduce your alcohol intake to just two drinks a day. Stress is something else that leads to high blood pressure. Reducing your stress levels is very important. A healthy diet will help you with this. Number 5. Lower Blood Sugar Something else that'll help keep your brain young is your blood sugar levels. One of the important risk factors concerning dementia is diabetes. To prevent diabetes, you need to get the right nutrients. Regular physical exercise and a healthy diet can keep diabetes at bay. But if your blood sugar levels still remain high, you may have to consider medication to bring them to normal levels. Number 6. Improve Cholesterol High levels of cholesterol can be the nail in the coffin for many people. There are two types of cholesterol, good cholesterol, known as HDL, and bad cholesterol, known as LDL. You need to keep your LDL cholesterol in check, as it's a huge risk factor when it comes to dementia. A healthy diet and physical exercise are once again the go-to tasks to help keep your cholesterol levels in control. In addition to that, you should also avoid tobacco and keep your weight under control. If nothing works, you may have to resort to a doctor's advice for medication. Before we move ahead, 
Here's another video you might like. Have you been feeling strange lately? Watch and learn more about the 10 body changes that need your immediate attention. Now back to our list of 12 ways to keep your brain young. Number seven, low dose aspirin. It's been seen in some studies that taking aspirin in low doses is one way to stop dementia. However, it's not something everyone should try. You'll still need to check with your doctor to make sure it's safe for you to take this medication. Otherwise, you could be looking at other health problems. Number eight, avoid tobacco. Attention cigarette smokers. If you didn't know already, smoking is unhealthy for you. And I'm not just talking about your lungs. Smoking is another thing that can decrease your mental health. I know, smoking is not easy to give up, but you need to work on it if you're going to reduce your chances of dementia. You've heard forever about how bad smoking is for your body. It can kill you before you even reach the age that dementia becomes common. If you'd like to reduce your odds both of physical and mental illness, quit smoking. Number nine, don't abuse alcohol. Planning on getting wild this weekend? If you're concerned about your health, I'd think twice. Alcohol is another vice that is not good for you both mentally or physically. While you don't need to quit drinking the way you do with cigarettes, experts suggest you lower your booze intake. When you drink excessively, you increase the risk of dementia. If you can avoid alcohol altogether, that's the best course of action. If you do choose to drink, try keeping your limit to just two drinks a day. Number 10, take care of your emotions. If you're suffering from anxiety and depression, chances are it will affect your long-term mental health. People with these conditions score poorly on cognitive tests. The same is the case for people who are sleep deprived or exhausted more often than not. Although getting poor scores and cognitive tests does not automatically mean you have a higher risk of cognitive impairment, it's still a good indicator. If you want to decrease your chances of dementia, make sure you're in the right state of mind. Otherwise, the stress will eventually overwhelm you. Number 11, protect your head. This may sound like obvious advice, but it's important that you protect your head from physical trauma. When you injure your head, either moderately or severely, you increase the chances of cognitive impairment. Sometimes when you have a brain injury, you may not be diagnosed for any concussions. That does not necessarily mean you're completely safe. So it's all the more important to make sure your head is safely protected. It doesn't matter if you're playing a sport or simply driving your car. Number 12, improve your relationships. You gotta have friends, folks. If you wanna reduce the risk of dementia, you should also work towards improving your social ties. People with strong social networks and a thriving social life have a reduced chance of facing cognitive decline in their older age. In fact, when you have good social ties, you'll have other benefits as well. These include keeping your blood pressure levels under control and increasing your life expectancy. Interested in learning more about your brain? What if we told you that there are actual foods you can eat to keep your brain super healthy? Or there are foods that can negatively impact your brain health? Here's what you need to know. Check out the top 10 superfoods for your brain. You should also try 11 worst foods for your brain according to doctors. Go ahead and click one, or better yet, watch both and learn more about your health and nutrition. Will you be trying any of these tips to keep your brain young? Let us know in the comments below.